So growing up, I was a huge fan of The Legend of Aang, the Avatar show. And it was one of those days in lab, I was working late and wondering about Avatar. But then I started to realize there were actually quite a bit of similarities between the show and my research project. So my research is to investigate the role of specialized skin cells called Langerhans cells and their role during wound healing. So before we get to that, let me talk a bit about Avatar for those who don't know. <laughs> so the Avatar series is set in a fictional world where people have the abilities to bend natural elements such as water, fire, earth, and air. And all of these four nations live together in perfect harmony, but then everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> so now, only an avatar, who's a master of all four of those elements, had the power to stop this war. But when the world needed him the most, he vanished. <laughs> so it wasn't until another 100 years when a young waterbender named Katara discovered our avatar Aang stuck in an iceberg somewhere in the middle of nowhere. So she rescued him out, and he could go back and restore balance back to the world. Honestly, it's the best show ever, guys. I highly <laughs> recommend you guys watch it. I was so impressed, especially with the waterbenders, how they could instantly heal the wounds. And also, they don't have to get up every time they have to refill a bottle or something. <laughs> Unfortunately, I couldn't become a waterbender. So I became the second best thing, which is to be a scientist. <laughs> And I still have to go fill up my water bottle myself, but I could help improve wound healing. So just like the four nations, there are also four different phases of wound healing. Um, yep. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <never mind. laughs> so they usually work together in perfect harmony, but sometimes things can go wrong, and then the second phase can attack. So now it becomes a chronic wound, which is constantly stuck in the second phase. And these chronic wounds are actually a major problem. They cost nearly 9 billion worldwide. So people, researchers have been searching far and wide for a potential avatar who can help stop this, <laughs> but to no avail, that is, until now. <laughs> so our research group has discovered that Lang could be a potential avatar. So during normal wound healing, Lang moves out of the wound and comes back in to help stop the second phase, potentially. But <laughs> so this made me think, what if during chronic wounds, something has happened to Lang? Maybe he's stuck in an iceberg too, unable to come back and stop the second phase. And it's now my duty to find the fate of Lang during chronic wounds <laughs> and hopefully come up with potential drugs that can act as the katara and help bring Lang back to the wound and restore balance to wound healing. Although we know Lang is a great cell at the moment, but there's still a lot to be learned before he can save anyone. But I believe Lang can save the world. <laughs>